The only thing that's more boring than diffusing your own hair is watching someone else diffuse theirs. However, there are some things that you can do when you're diffusing that will affect your outcome. I'm not gonna say there's rights and wrongs to diffusing, but there's things that you can do or adjust depending on the results you're looking for that will have an impact. So I'm gonna show you how I diffuse my hair and talk about some of those little tweaks that you can make to your diffusing routine to get the results you're looking for. So I'm gonna diffuse with my Leaf and Swift hair dryer. I just have to say, I don't think I talk about enough how much I love this Leaf and hair dryer. I have this and I have the Dyson because the Dyson was bought for me years ago as a gift by my husband. But since I've had the Leaf in, I pretty much use this every single time. It is every bit as good as the Dyson and actually there's a few features about it which I love even more. Like if you press and hold the power button, you get like a rotation of heat. It goes cold, medium, hot, cold, medium, hot. And I love that setting. It's just so good, it dries my hair so fast. So let's go ahead and diffuse. Now this might be a bit controversial, but I actually always start diffusing on high speed and high heat. Um, obviously diffuser is there to diffuse the air, diffuse the heat. So it's not the same as putting like a hot tool on your hair. Um, and as you can see, I'm just sort of pointing it at my roots. This is called hover diffusing. I don't do much hover diffusing. I actually find my hair is much better being cupped in the bowl of the diffuser. But I do like to try and just dry off a little bit um, at the roots, which stops it from being weighed down by wetness at the roots and going flat, but not for very long as you can see. So now I'm just going into cupping the hair into the diffuser bowl. Um, one thing that cupping the hair in the diffuser bowl does is aid with shrinkage and so does using a higher heat. Uh, it helps my curls tighten up. So if you've actually got very tight curls and you're looking to lengthen, then just hover diffusing rather than cupping the hair in the bowl of the diffuser um, can help you with this. So if you have a much tighter curl pattern than me and you're looking for that lengthening, um, then try not cupping it in the diffuser. Um, I'm just turning it down now. I'm still keeping it at full speed because I do with the leaf in the full speed doesn't cause frizz or anything at all. Now I've turned it down to medium heat. And I do, as you can see, have my head flipped in every direction. I spend a lot of time with my head flipped forward and that does give me a lot of good root lift. And then I'll flip it to the side and as you can see, I'm just holding it in place. Obviously, this is sped up at about 250 times speed, if that makes sense. Um, so I think like 2.5 is what I'm trying to say. Um, so obviously, I'm holding the diffuser in place a little bit longer than it looks here because this is sped up. But to be honest, not for absolutely ages. I do like to keep it moving around um, and it's that stops their becoming really wonky curls because if you're holding it in place for absolutely ages if that curl's not sitting well it's going to get cemented in place so by moving it about relatively often you're allowing the curls to to naturally form um, and you're less likely to get those wonky curls so again just flipping my head in all directions um, and I'm not scared to have my hands in my hair when I'm diffusing um, and as you see we get towards the end of my diffusing time uh, my hair does diffuse very quickly with a leaf and swift and because it's at a shorter length. Um, but what you'll notice is as I get towards the end, when my hair starts to be about 70 to 80% dry, um, I will start scrunching my hair and getting my hands in there more. As you can see, lifting at the roots um, and kind of scrunching as I diffuse. And when my hair was unhealthy, when my hair was damaged, I absolutely couldn't do this. This would have caused terrible frizz. It would have broken up my curl clumps. There you go, you can see what I'm starting to do now is just scrunch as I diffuse. But now that my hair is healthy, it absolutely is a great technique for me. Um, it's not necessarily going to work for everyone. I know that the rule tends to be don't touch your hair while it's drying. But for me, I find that I get much better results. It dries faster if I do this because I'm sort of starting to break that crispy cast that's forming. And then it allows the inside of the curls, sort of the middle of the curls to dry quicker. Um, and I find it gives me more volume. I just really like the results it gives me. So I would say if you're unsure, if you're sort of a, a not, not a hair toucher when you're diffusing, try doing this and see what happens, especially if your hair is already quite healthy, if you're a little way into your curly hair journey. Um, but if your hair is damaged, say you've got like bleach damage or heat damage, this might not be the best way to do it. You might, you might find it's better to touch your hair as little as possible. Um, but yeah, try and see. So there we go, um, my hair at this point is not far off dry. And I personally like to diffuse my hair until it's completely dry, um, getting some good results there. And I am sweating, it was a warm day this day and also 
diffusing makes you warm even if it's a cold day. Um, another little tip for diffusing your hair to alleviate the boredom is I usually put in my AirPods and listen to an audiobook or a podcast and honestly it makes diffusing fairly enjoyable. I quite like it because you can just listen away, you're not really paying that much attention to diffusing, you're just enjoying what you're listening to. So that was a bit of a game changer for me when it came to diffusing. Um, so yeah, I'm just fluffing up my roots as I go, scrunching away, and you can see that those curls are looking nice and shiny and full. Um, so I don't end up with like a crispy cast at the end because I'm scrunching my hair as I go. Um, so yeah, I don't tend to end up with like that really hard crispy cast. But what I still do at the end is once it's completely dry, I will still give it a really good fluff and a really good scrunch even if I don't have much of a cast because I just feel like it gives the curls life. Um, but yeah, we're nearly done and pretty much all the way through I've been using full speed, well I have been using full speed and like I say I started with high heat and now I'm on medium heat and I never go colder than medium heat unless I use that cycling heat thing which I mentioned before if I want um, to go like cold, medium, hot back around. Sometimes that can work well too. But there we go, my hair is just about dry and that was so quick. So this is how it looks directly after diffusing. I'm going to give it a good fluff. And then just let it sort of settle into place. This is how it's looking. So bouncy and shiny and uh, I'm going to give that a few minutes to settle because I never judge my wash day based on how it looks directly after diffusing. In fact, sometimes I don't really judge it in day t until day two. But I'm going to give it a little while to settle, put on my makeup and then I'll come back and show you how it's sitting. And now it is not feeling sticky, it feels soft, um, there's no crunchiness left in it and this is how it's looking. So I've got a decent amount of volume um, from the way that I diffuse my hair and obviously also the products that I used. I'm going to look back at the footage and find out exactly how long it took me to diffuse and I will tell you right here because I haven't checked yet. <laughs> but that's how long it took me today. Um, it's really not a super long process. My hair is obviously fairly short if your hair's longer or thicker. My hair's also quite fine. Um, so obviously times are going to vary but that's how long it took me today. That's about average for me and that's one thing I absolutely love about the Leaf and Swift hair dryer. It, it really is swift, <laughs> it's in the name. It really does diffuse my hair super fast, I absolutely love it. But I hope that was helpful, uh, I hope that you learned something or found something interesting and I will see you guys soon, bye.